This is the Brigadoon in Alloway in Ayrshire. Alloway is the birthplace of Robert Burns, Scotland's national bard. Growing up, I was never really a massive fan of Burns, which is probably treason, but probably has a lot to do with the fact that we were forced to learn his poetry and recite it in school, which isn't quite as grim as it sounds. Still, it's hard to be passionate about something you feel obligated to like. But there is one poem I've always been kind of a fan of, and it happens right here. When Chapman Billy's leave the street, and druthy neighbours neighbours meet, as market days are wearing late and folk begin to tack the gate, while we sit boozing at the nappy and getting foo and uncle happy, we think na on the lang scots miles, the mosses water slaps and styles that lie between us and our hame, where sits our sulky sullen dame, gathering our brows like gathering storm, nursing her wrath to keep it warm. This truth fund on us Tam Ashanter, as he for airy night did canter, all dear where near a town surpasses, for honest men and bonny lasses. Oh, Tam, hast thou but been so wise, as tain thy ain wife Kate's advice? She told thee, weel, thou was a skellum, a blethering, blustering, drunken blellum, that frain of ember till October, a market day thou was na sober, that till come with a miller, thou sat so lang as thou had siller. The every nag was cut a shoe on, the smith and thee got roaring foo on, that at the Lord's house, even on Sunday, thou drank with curtain jean till Monday. She prophesied that later soon, thou would be found deep drowned in dune, or catched with warlocks in the murk, by Alloway's old haunted kirk. Ah, gentle dames, it guards me greet to think how many counsels sweet, how many lengthened sage advices the husband for the wife despises. But to her tale, a market night, Tam had got planted Uncle Wright, fast by an ingle blazing finely, with reeman swats that drank divinely, and at his elbow suitor Joni, his ancient, trusty, drouthy crony. Tam lowed him like a vera brother. They had been foo for weeks together. The night drove on with sangs and clatter, and I the ale was growing better. The landlady and Tam grew gracious, with favours secret, sweet and precious. The suitor told his queerest stories, the landlord's laugh was ready chorus. The storm without might rear and rustle. Tam didn't mind the storm a whistle. Care, mad to see a man so happy, he drowned himself among the nappy. As bees flew home with leads of treasure, the minutes winged their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious, or all the ills of life victorious. But pleasures are like poppies spread. You seize the flower, its bloom is shed. Or like the snowfalls in the river, a moment white, then melts forever. Or like the Borealis race that flit, ere you can point their place. Or like the rainbow's lovely form, a-vanishing amid the storm. No man can tether time or tide, the hour approaches, tam and ride. That hour o' night's black arch, the keystone, that dreary hour he mounts his beast in, and sick a night he tacks the road in, as ne'er poor sinner was abroad in. The wind blew as twad blown its last, the rattling showers rose on the blast, the speedy gleams the darkness swallowed, loud, deep and lang the thunder bellowed. That night... A child might understand, the deal had business on his hand. Wheel mounted on his grey mare, Meg, a better never lifted leg, Tam scalp it on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, whilst holding fast his good blue bonnet, whilst crooning o'er some old Scot sonnet, whilst glowering round with prudent cares, lest bogles catch him unawares. Kirkalloway was drawing nigh, where ghosts and hoolets nightly cry. By this time he was crossed the ford, where in the snow the chapman smored, and past the burks and meekle stain, where drunken Charlie brack's neck bane, and through the winds and by the cairn, where hunters fun the murdered bairn, and near the thorn aboon the well, 
where Mungo's mither hanged herself. Before him, Dune pours all his floods. The doubling storm roars through the woods. The lightnings flash from pole to pole. Near and more near the thunders roll. When glimmering through the groaning trees, Ker Calloway seemed in a bleeze. Through Ilka Boar the beams were glancing, and loud resounded, mirth and dancing. Inspiring bold John Barleycorn, what dangers thou canst make us scorn. We tippery, we fear no evil, we uskabay will face the devil. The swat say reamed in Tammy's noddle, fair play, he cared no deals a bottle. But Maggie stood right sair astonished, till by the heel in hand admonished, she ventured forward on the light, and vow, Tam saw an uncle's sight. Warlocks and witches in a dance, nae Catillian Brent knew fae France, but hornpipes, jigs, straspays and reels, put life and metal in their heels. A winnock bunker in the east, there sat old Nick in shape of beast. A towsy tight, black, grim and large, to gie them music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and gart them skirl, till roof and rafters a did dirl. Coffins stood round like open presses, that showed the dead in their last dresses. And by some devilish cantrip slight, each in its cold hand held a light. By which heroic Tam was able, to note upon the haley table, a murderer's banes and gibbet urns. Twa span lung we unchristened bairns, a thief new cutted frae the rape, with his last gasp his gab did gape, five tomahawks with blood red rusted, five shimitters with murder crusted, a garter which a babe had strangled, a knife a father's throat had mangled, whom his ain son o' life bereft, the grey hairs yet stuck to the heft, when mere o' horrible and awful, which even to name must be unlawful. The lawyer's tongues turned inside out, where lies seemed like a beggar's clout. Three priests' hearts, rotten black as muck, lay stinking vile in every nook. As Tammy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper loud and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew. They reeled, they set, they crossed, they click it, till Ilka Carlin swat and reek it, and coost her duddies to the work, and link it at it in her sark. Now Tam, oh Tam, had they been queens, a plump and strappin' in their teens, their sarks instead of creasy flannin, been snow white seventeen hunter linen, their breeks o' mine, my only pair, that ain't were plush o' good blue hair. I wad to gien them off my hurdies, for a blink o' the bonny birdies. But whether beldams old and droll, rigwoody hags had spin a foal, loupin' and flingin' on a crummock, I wonder didn't he turn my stomach. But Tam ken what was what foo brawly. There was a winsome wench and wally that night enlisted on the core, lang after caned on Carrick shore. For money a beast to dead she shot, and perished money a bonny boat, and shook beth meekle corn and bear, and kept the countryside in fear. Her cutty circle paisley harn, that while a lassie she had worn, in longitude, though sorely scanty, it was her best, and she was vanty. Ah, little ken thy reverend granny, that sark she coughed for her wee nanny, with twa puns scots, twas all her riches, what e'er a grace the dance of witches. But here my muse her wingman cower, sick flights are far beyond her power, to sing how nanny lap and flang, a supple jade she was and strang, and how Tam stood like ain bewitched, and thought his very ain enriched. Even Satan glowered and fidged for fain, and hotched and blew with might and main, till first they caper, sign another, Tam tint his reason all together, and roars out, Well done, cutty sark! And in an instant, all was dark. And scarcely had he Maggie rallied, when out the hellish legion sallied. As bees buzz out with angry fike, when plundering herds assail their bike. As open pussy's mortal foes, when pop she starts before their nose. As eager runs the market crowd, when catch the thief resounds aloud. So Maggie runs, the witches follow, when money and eldritch screech and hollow. Ah, Tam! Ah, Tam, they'll get thy fearin. In hell they'll roast thee like a heron. In vain thy Kate awaits thy comin'. Kate soon will be a woeful woman. 
Now do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the keystain o' the brig. They rat them, thou thy tail may toss. A running stream they dare not cross. But ere the keystain she could make, the faint a tail she had to shake. For Nanny, far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tam a furious ettle. But little wished she Maggie's mettle. A spring brought off her master hail, but left behind her ain grey tail. The carlin caught her by the rump, and left poor Maggie, scarce a stump. No, why this tale a truth shall read, elk man and mother son take heed. When e'er to drink you are inclined, or cutty sarks run in your mind, think you may buy joys or dear. Remember, Tam O'Shanter's mare.